IBM System I. The IBM System I is IBM's previous generation of mid-range computer systems for IBM I users, and was subsequently replaced by the IBM Power Systems in April 2008. The platform was first introduced as the A-400 on June 21, 1988 and later renamed to the E-Server I series in 2000. As part of IBM Systems branding initiative in 2006, it was again renamed to System I. The code name of the A-400 project was Silver Lake, named for the lake in downtown Rochester, Minnesota, where development of the system took place. In April 2008, IBM announced its integration with the System P platform. The unified product line is called IBM Power Systems and features support for Theobmi, X and GNU Linux operating systems. The predecessor to A-400. IBM System 38 was first made available in August 1979 and was marketed as a mini computer for general business and departmentalists. It was sold alongside other product lines, each with a different architecture. Realizing the importance of compatibility with the thousands of programs written in legacy code, IBM launched the A-400 mid-range computer line in 1988. It stands for Application System. Great effort was made during development of the A-400 to enable programs written for the System-34 and System-36 to be moved to the A-400. Programs on the System-38 were directly compatible with the new A-400. In 2000, in accordance with IBM's eServer initiative, the A-400 series was rebranded as the eServer I series. In 2006, it was again rebranded as the IBM System I. In 2008, Almost 20 years after being introduced, the System I and IBM System P product lines were combined into a new product line called the IBM Power Systems line. The S-400 operating system was originally named OS-400. The operating system has undergone name changes along with the rebranding of IBM server lineup. The operating system was rebranded as i5OS to correspond with the introduction of Power 5 processors and the rebranding of the hardware to e-server i-series. For the 6.1 release, the operating system was again renamed to IBM I. The operating system is object-based. Features include a RDBMS, a menu-driven interface, support for multiple users, block-oriented terminal support, and printers. IBM I has built-in security, and support for communications, and web-based applications which can be executed inside the optional IBM WebSphere application server or as PHP slash MySQL applications inside a native port of the Apache web server. Unlike the everything is a file feature of Unix and its derivatives, on IBM I everything is an object. IBM I offers Unix-like file directories using the integrated file system. Java compatibility is implemented through a native port of the Java virtual machine. Like IBM's mainframe operating systems, IBM I uses EBCDIC as the inherent encoding. OS-400 version 4, release 4 introduced LPRS allowing multiple virtual systems to run on a single hardware footprint. The IBM System I platform extended the System-38 architecture of an object-based system with an integrated DB2 relational database. Equally important are the virtual machine and single-level storage concepts which established the platform as an advanced business computer. One feature that has contributed to the longevity of the IBM System I platform is its high-level instruction set, which allows application programs to take advantage of advances in hardware and software without recompilation. Timmy is a virtual instruction set independent of the underlying machine instruction set of the CPU. User mode programs contain both Timmy instructions and the machine instructions of the CPU, thus ensuring hardware independence. This is conceptually somewhat similar to the virtual machine architecture of programming environments such as Smalltalk, Java and .NET. The key difference is that it is embedded so deeply into the A-400S design as to make applications effective binary compatible across different processor families. Unlike some other virtual machine architectures in which the virtual instructions are interpreted at runtime, Timmy instructions are never interpreted. They constitute an intermediate compile time step and are translated into the processor's instruction set as the final compilation step. The Timmy instructions are stored within the final program object, in addition to the executable machine instructions. This is how application objects compiled on one processor family could be moved to a new processor without recompilation. 
an application saved from the older 48-bit platform can simply be restored onto the new 64-bit platform where the operating system discards the old machine instructions and retranslates the TIMI instructions into 64-bit instructions for the new processor. The system's instruction set defines all pointers as 128-bit. This was the original design feature of the system 38 in the mid-1970s planning for future use of faster processors, memory and an expanded address space. When at a point in the future 128-bit general purpose processors would appear, IBM I will already be fully 128-bit enabled. The original S-400 CISC models used the same 48-bit address space as the S-38. The address space was expanded in 1995 when if the RISC Power PCR S64 64-bit CPU processor replaced the 48-bit CISC processor. For 64-bit Power PC processors, the virtual address resides in the rightmost 64 bits of a pointer while it was 48 bits in the S-38 and CISC S-400. The 64-bit address space references main memory and disk as a single address set which is the single-level storage concept. The IBM system I includes an extensive library-based operating system, IBM I, and is also capable of supporting multiple instances of X, Linux, Lotus Domino. Microsoft Windows 2000 and Windows Server 2003. While IBM I, X, Linux and Lotus Domino are supported on the power processors, Windows is supported with either single processor internal blade servers or externally linked multiple processor servers. ISC also provides support for attachment of IBM blade centers. Windows, Linux, and VMware ESX are supported on ISC attached servers. Slipper. A feature introduced from IBM's mainframe computers, facilitates running multiple operating systems simultaneously on one IBM system I unit. A system configured with Looper can run various operating systems on separate partitions while ensuring that one OS cannot run over the memory or resources of another. Each Looper is given a portion of system resources via a system of weights that determines where unused resources are allocated at any given time. The operating systems supported under the Looper scheme are IBM I. X, and Linux. Other features include an integrated DB2 database management system, a menu-driven interface, multi-user support, non-programmable terminals and printers, security, communications, client-server and web-based applications. Much of the software necessary to run the IBM system I is included and integrated into the base operating system. The IBM system I also supports common client-server systems such as ODBC and JDBC for accessing its database from client software such as Java, Microsoft.NET languages and others. Programming languages available for the A-400 include RPG, Assembly Language, C, C++, Pascal, Java, EGL, Perl, Smalltalk, COBOL, SQL, BASIC, PHP, PL-I. Python and Rex. Several case tools are available, CA Plex, Synon, IBM Rational Business Developer Extension, Accelerator, Lanza, Uniface and Genesis. The ELA programming environment allows programs from ELA-compatible languages, to be bound into the same executable and call procedures written in any of the other ELA languages. The IBM system I fully supports the Java language, including 32 and 64-bit Java virtual machines. Commands in the control language are promptable using the keyboard F4 function key, and most provide cursor-sensitive help to make specifying command parameters simpler. All command names and parameter keywords are based upon uniform standardized and mostly three-letter abbreviations for verbs and subjects, making for easy rendering and interpretation by the application developer, as opposed to other operating systems with often cryptic or inconsistent command names for related functions or command parameter switches. For instance, the parameter keyword to apply a text description to any object to be created or changed is spelled the same way for all such commands. Examples For traditional business programming languages such as RPG, COBOL, and C, the IBM system I provides an interface to the integrated database that allows these languages to treat database tables much like other platforms treat ESOM or some files. Support for 5250 display operations is provided via display files, an interface between workstations, keyboards and displays, and interactive applications, as opposed to batch processing with little or no user interaction. 
ASCII terminals and PC workstations are equally and well supported, also via Internet or LA network access supplemented by either IBM or non-IBM communication software, for example Telnet or Telnet 5250. IBM systems may also come with programming and development software like Programming Development Manager. The IBM System I, then known as the A-400, was the continuation of the System-38 database machine architecture. The S-400 removed capability-based addressing. The S-400 added source compatibility with the System-36 combining the top primary computers manufactured by the IBM Rochester plant. The System-36 was IBM's most successful mini-computer but the architecture had reached its limit. The first S-400 systems were delivered in 1988 under the tagline Best of Both Worlds and the product line has been refreshed continually since then. Guy Dehan from Inventive Designers was one of the beta testers of Silverlake. The programmers who worked on OS-400, the operating system of the S-400, did not have a Unix background. Dr. Frank Soltis, the chief architect, says that this is the main difference between this and any other operating system. The S-400 was one of the first general-purpose computer systems to attain a C2 security rating from the NSA, and in 1995 was extended to employ a 64-bit processor and operating system. The 1995 changeover from 48 to 64-bit required that all programs be observable, i.e. that the debugging information had not been stripped out of the compiled code. This caused problems for those who had bought third-party products that had no source and no observability. In 2008, the introduction of V6R1 caused similar problems, although this time IBM preferred to call it a refresh. In 2000 IBM renamed the S-400 to iSeries, as part of its C-Server branding initiative. The product line was further extended in 2004 with the introduction of i5 servers, the first to use the IBM Power 5 processor. The architecture of the system allows for future implementation of 128-bit processors when they become available. Although announced in 1988, the IS-400 remains IBM's most recent major architectural shift that was developed wholly internally. Since the arrival of Lou Gerstner in 1993, IBM has viewed such colossal internal developments as too risky. Instead, IBM now prefers to make key product strides through acquisition and to support the development of open standards, particularly Linux. It is noteworthy that after the departure of CEO John Akers in 1993, when IBM looked likely to be split up, Bill Gates commented that the only part of IBM that Microsoft would be interested in was the A-400 division. In 1986, System-38 announced support for distributed data management architecture. This enabled programs to create manage, and access record-oriented files on remote system 36 system 38 and IBM mainframe systems running 6. This support was extended into the A-400 and its follow-ons. It was enhanced to support additional services that had been defined by DDM and to support A-400 specific extensions, as allowed by DDM. In 1990, the A-400 announced support for distributed relational database architecture which is based on DDM. The S-400 was originally based on a custom IBM CISC CPU which had an instruction set architecture, known as Internal Microprogrammed Interface, similar to that of the IBM System-370. It was later migrated to a power-based RISC CPU family eventually known as RS-64. The System i5 uses power CPUs. These CPUs are developed and manufactured by IBM. The Power 4 5 5 Plus chips contain two cores. There are multi chip modules available. They have two CPUs or four CPUs and one MCM. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.